Hey guys. Hey, it's Elena back with a, another YouTube video. And in today's video, I will be doing something, you know, a little bit different. I did a poor job of explaining what I was trying to say. So I will be doing my hair and makeup regardless of whether or not I have plans because I noticed that when I do my hair and my makeup or when I just get ready, even if I stay home, I am more productive. So the plan is to style my hair, which I have many twists right now, and do my makeup for the entire week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start off by doing my hair. The hairstyle that I'm gonna do is a hairstyle that I normally do. I'm just gonna do two little buns and like a half up, half down type of thing. I'm just going to take a section of my hair. Yeah, with this, I don't really like have a specific gauge as to how much hair or how many twists I want into a bun. And when I get to a certain point, I kinda just like do it like that and then I just as you can see, I'm leaving up these two front pieces. I always do that because um, it softens the uh, size of my forehead, makes it not look as big, you know? So this is pretty much the hairstyle. I think it's cute, but now I'm gonna just do my edges and I will be using the Shine and Jam silk edges, the olive oil kind, and I'm just gonna be using this edge brush. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna get my scarf and I'm just gonna put this on. Now I'm gonna be moving on into doing my makeup. For today's makeup, I wanna do something blue or teal. Those are the colors that I'm kind of feeling. I'm gonna use this Sephora eyeliner and it's a teal one. It's called Blue Mood. In the The next thing I will be doing is applying some glitter onto my under eye and I will be using the Violet Boss I Do Not Care eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using this teal glitter right here and this small angled brush and I'm kind of just going to bring this under my eye here a little bit. I'm actually going to not only do it under my eye but also on the front of my eye a bit too. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on into doing my inner corner. And to do that, I will be using the Aura and Out eyeshadow palette by ColourPop. I think I'm gonna use this one right here called New Age. And I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of that in my inner corner and bringing that out into the glitter that I put on the top and bottom of my eye. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be putting a little bit of black gel eyeliner in my waterline and I will be using this Clinique eyeliner. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on into mascara and for mascara, I will be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. So that is it for the eyes and now I'll be moving on into the regular parts of my makeup look and I will be moving on into my eyebrows and I will be using the ColourPop Brow Boss. The heck? Um, Y'all, I just accidentally ripped off the spoolie of my... <gasps> no! I just broke this. I'll probably have to buy a new one. I found one of these disposable spoolies, so I'm just gonna be using that for the time being. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on into blush. And for blush, I kind of want to keep it more subtle. And I'm just going to be using this Tarte blush called Party. Now that I'm done with that, I will be moving on into highlight. And I'll be using this Two Shadow sample from Clinique. Now that we're done with that, I'm just going to be doing my lips. And for lips, I'm just gonna keep it simple and do lip gloss. And I will be using the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. This is the finished hair and makeup for today. And I feel cute. I feel cute and I feel ready to like actually try to do stuff today. 
Hey guys, so I know I said that I had no plans for today, but I look too good to not go anywhere. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be driving to the mall and then I'm gonna also go to Ulta so I can pick up a new eyebrow pencil because if I'm gonna be doing my makeup again tomorrow, I wanna be sure that I can use a good spoolie and not the one that I was using before. I'm not gonna be filming while I'm driving. So I hope y'all know that, but yeah. I'll catch up with y'all when I'm at Ulta or when I'm at the mall or when I'm back in the car. I don't know when, but I'll give you a heads up. Hey guys, I'm back in the car. I just went to the mall. I got um, this shirt from Spencer's. I was initially going to get a different shirt, but I seen that they had this one and I got it. Are we surprised? I also went to Bath and Body Works and I got I got this lotion because I had this lotion in like the big one but I started running out but I still had a whole bunch of the soap left. I don't know what it is but with Bath and Body stuff the lotion goes out way faster than the soap. I'm going to go to Ulta um, just to get an eyebrow pencil. Hey guys, I am back again so that I could do day two of doing hairstyles with my mini twist and also doing a makeup look. I actually have plans today. So I'm gonna be going out to get tacos with Ireland and then I'm gonna stay the night. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna be staying um, kind of like from now to the weekend with her because she has a softball tournament and I'm gonna go to that, so yeah. We're gonna have a change of scenery for the next few days when I do my hair and my makeup. For today's hairstyle, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm just gonna be doing two high ponytails and then I'm gonna leave some pieces in the front. To start off, I'm just gonna take a section. I kinda wanna leave like this one piece. I normally do that when I have beads. I like leave like one piece that has the beads on it. I'm going to be using two scrunchies because I want these ponytails to be a little bit higher and as a matter of fact I'm actually going to leave two pieces here in the front. And that's it for the first one. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here we go for the hairstyle. And now I'm going to be moving on into doing my edges. Okay, so now I will be moving on into makeup. And for today's makeup, I kind of want to keep it pink because there's a specific shirt that I was planning on wearing today. I'm going to be using the Zodiac Love Signs eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into this hot pink right here. And I'm going to use this angled brush and I'm going to kind of just create like a graphic liner type of thing. I'm gonna to try to bring it from here up and then into my crease a bit and then kind of do something on this inner corner here. So that is what I have for this eye and I'm going to be doing the same thing I did over here on this eye as well. So this is what that looks like. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Bratz eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be going into this shade right here called Funkalish. And I'm just going to be putting some of that under my eye here. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be using my Clinique Black Gel Liner. And then I'm going to be putting that in my waterline. Now I will be moving on into mascara and I'm going to be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Now I will be moving on into doing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the ColourPop Brow Boss. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on into blush and I will be using this Milk Makeup Blush and I am going to just be applying that to my cheeks. Now I will be going back into the Bratz Eyeshadow Palette for highlight and I will be using Halo. Now I will be moving on into lips and I will be using this Dior lip gloss in the shade Fancy. So this is the finished look. And as you can see, I have all my Bratz shirts and my Bratz necklace. This is the shirt that I bought yesterday. 
so yeah i'll keep y'all updated with the stuff we do y'all i'm in the car with ireland like and danelle <laughs> oh this is danelle ireland's cousin and she came from texas for the summer and she's 14 and she's super cool hey par yeah we're gonna go get tacos y'all Hey y'all, we are at Emiliano's taco place and we got the menu. We sitting down. It's pretty nice. Where's the food, y'all? They got that big burrito and we got tacos. Yeah, y'all. We're talking about tattoos. Um I would do it because I'm 18, but I'm not rebellious enough. Hey y'all. So we had our tacos, they were good, and now we're about to go to a tattoo shop i'm not getting a tattoo but ireland's getting a tattoo she didn't end up getting a tattoo because the tattoo place was all booked up sadly so ireland's not getting a tattoo Sick. today I was, I was so excited maybe, maybe it's a sign though maybe That's they're like, my mom said. maybe it's a sign maybe they're just like you should not be getting a tattoo on a whim on a random day on a on a random wednesday i'm gonna get one before you know, you can always order a kit off of Amazon and I will I will I will tattoo you for free. No, you will not. <laughs> yes, I will. You can be or Stop. No, I this won't. Was to do to her, so I'm like, the it will start real. swelling up within <laughs> two days. I know how to draw. So, Bro, I'm no, you don't. shout out to You know how to do makeup though for sure. Yeah, it can't can be draw, that hard. You can draw on your face, but you can't inject no needle in my face. <laughs> No, but I, d I definitely seen some people that they can draw, but they can't. They try tattooing and they just can't do it. They drew stick figures on it. We're gonna be the most simplest, like. Yeah, method. like a simple line work design, and you freak like it up. The square, all, all be crooked. Yeah, the square, <laughs> bro, look more I like a trapezoid. Right, I was like, how does square turn into a trapezoid? Into a diamond. Oh my God. Just use a ruler. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be like, get me off the chair. <laughs> get, me, get me out of here. I mean, if you watch your live to be straight. Now, what did they pull out an eraser, bro? <laughs> Stop it. Mm -mm. Magic eraser trying to so much as. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh We've seen two white boys hop out this car in front of us that parked horribly. It's diagonal. It's they almost hit us and they it's all hopped out, looked at us and looked at us directly in our eyes and smiled. He did a he did a oh, like a like a Bieber moment, kind of like like you remember when Justin Bieber used to have <laughs> Y'all we went to Cold Stone. I got a mint ice cream with a brownie in it. Ireland got what'd you get? I don't even know. She got something in a waffle cone bowl thing. And Danelle got what'd you get? cake batter nice nice it so, tastes like actual cake batter hey guys so i am back at ireland's house she got this nice little setup here with the lights and everything it's looking very nice but i didn't show y'all what i got from zed's i only got one thing from there i got this sweatshirt it was 20 bucks and oh i just dropped it oh there's a sticker in here bro that's hard comes uh, with a <laughs> sticker I got a sticker, I think, from the last time I bought something from there. Because I bought a sweatshirt from there before. But. Name on card. See? So, yeah, I got this navy blue Mickey sweatshirt for $20. I think that's actually a pretty good price for, like, a vintage type sweatshirt. Plus, I like stuff like this. I know it is summer and it's very hot. But I know that I'll wear this in the coming school year when I go to college. It'll be a cute little something something yeah that's it for today y'all i will be back tomorrow to show y'all tomorrow's hair and tomorrow's makeup and i'll see y'all there hey guys i'm here for day number three for hair and makeup so for today's hair i'm keeping it very simple and i'm starting off by doing my edges and then from there, I leave off three um, twists on, from each side in the front of my hair. 
and then from there I put the rest of it back into a low ponytail. Now I'm taking this hair scarf that I thrifted and I'm just placing that on the top of my head and then I am tying it into the back. Once I am done tying the scarf, I take out the scrunchie from my hair and I just let my hair out. I started this makeup look with eyeliner and then I moved on into the Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette by ColourPop and I went into this purple shade here and I basically just blended that out into the eyeliner using an angled brush and I did that on the top and bottom. I then moved on into using the Clinique Black Gel Liner and I just put that in my waterline to kind of deepen it up and make sure there weren't any gaps. I then moved back into the Fade Into Hue palette and I used this light purple sparkly shade and I went and I put that in my inner corner. To finish off the eyes, I went into mascara and for mascara, I was using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Then I used the ColourPop Brow Boss to fill in my brows because they was looking a little bit non-existent. I then moved into blush and I am using this Tarte blush in the shade Party. I moved into this two pan sample by Clinique and I used the gold shade as a highlight. Then I moved into this Tower 28 purple lip gloss. So this is the finished look for day three and I think it turned out really nicely. Hey y'all, I am here for Ireland softball game with Danelle. She almost got a, was it a, was it a wasp that was around you? Yeah, she almost got stung by a wasp, so she threw her, she threw her stuff so far. I didn't even know I threw her. Ireland has two games today. Softball. Don't know nothing about softball. Danelle scared of bugs again. It got on me. I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> oh my god. Hey y'all, forgot to give y'all an update. So uh we're gonna get Olive Garden and we're gonna bring it back to the house. We look a tad bit bummy a little bit, but it's okay. Hey guys, I'm here for day number four of doing my hair and makeup for a week. And today I'm keeping the hair very simple and I am just gonna be doing two buns. So as you can see, I start off by taking some sections and putting it into two ponytails, and then I just kind of wrap another scrunchie around the outside, the ponytail. Then I just do my edges. For makeup, I'm starting off with this Clinique sample, and I'm using the brown shade, and I'm creating a wing. Now I am moving into the Violet Voss I Do Not Care eyeshadow palette and I'm using this dark brown shade to kind of deepen up that wing. Now I'm going into the Bratz palette and I'm using this dark brown shimmer shade called Convertible and I'm blending that more towards the inner part of my eye. I am now going back into the Violet Voss palette and I'm using this pink shimmer and I'm putting it in my inner corner and blending that out into the dark brown shimmer shade. To finish off the eyes, I will be moving to mascara using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Now I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss to fill in my brows. I am now moving into blush and I am using the Milk Makeup Blush. Now I am moving into highlight using the same Clinique Two Shade Sample. To finish off this look, I will be using lip gloss and I am using this Makeup Revolution Lip Gloss. This is the finished hair and makeup for day four, and I am very happy with how it turned out. Very cute and very simple. For this day, we pretty much just went to Ireland softball game, so enjoy this video of me sleeping in the car. Hey guys, it is now day number five of doing my hair and makeup for a week, and today I'm just going to be doing two low ponytails, keeping it very simple 
I start off by using the ColourPop Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette and I use this light blue matte shade to create a wing shape and then I bring that into my crease. Then I move into this dark purple matte shade and I create a more defined line within that blue shape as well. Then I go into this hot pink shade and I blend that on the top and bottom of my eye with the blue and the purple. Next, I use this blue shade called Chloe from the Bratz eyeshadow palette, and I use that as an inner corner highlight. Then I move into the regular mascara and brow pencil, and then after that, I use a uh, blush using the Milk Makeup Blush, and I just blend that out. Finally, I move into highlight and lip gloss to finish off the look. The games actually ended up being canceled for this day because it was raining. <laughs> hey, so yesterday I actually didn't do a makeup look or anything like that because I had to wake up super early for Ireland's softball game. So. You know, I didn't feel like doing makeup at like five in the morning. Yesterday, all we did is we went to her softball games. And then after that, um, we just kind of chilled at her house. And then we went to Target. And when we went to Target, we got um, mochi. And I also picked up some shorts that I'm going to show you. I got these green shorts right here. They were only $20. Nice. I feel like every time I go to Target, there's like one specific thing I go there for. And then I end up getting stuff that I didn't go there for at all. And then after that, we went and we got sushi from Giant Eagle. They got really nice sushi when they have like the Market District Giant Eagles. Their sushi be fire. We had that. Then we went to Taco Bell because I had coupons for free tacos. Free tacos! So that was also good yeah let's move on into today's hair and makeup so for today's hair i kind of want to keep it simple I, i'm going to um put my hair up in a ponytail but i'm gonna take these pieces up and keep the pieces that i want out in the back they have the beads out and then keep these little pieces up in the front on this side only I'm gonna put this piece up with the rest of the ponytail. And so now I'm going to take my second ponytail and I'm going to just kind of heighten it up a little bit. So now I'm going to be moving on into doing my makeup. And for my makeup, I know that I don't really know what I wanna do, but I know that I wanna keep it purple. I'm kind of doing a little tip top or whatever. And it involves a an audio from Steven Universe and it's an audio from Sugulai and if y'all don't know Sugulai is voiced by Nicki Minaj so I was doing that sound and I think I want to do um purple because Sugulai is purple but I'll plug a picture for those who don't know this is what she looks like so I think what I'm going to be using is this elf makeup like kind of like I forget what they call these but they're just like these little eyeshadow shimmer things. And this is in the shade Supernova. I got this at Target. As you can see, I put a piece of tape on my face and I'm going to be just applying just a little bit of it, almost like an eyeliner. And then I'll kind of like sharpen the edge of it with this angled brush. looking good so far but i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and i'll be back when i'm done now i'll be moving on into doing kind of a pigmented inner corner and i will be using this shade right here this purple matte shade called my girls now i will be moving on into an under eye eyeshadow and to do that i will be going back into the brats palette and i will be using this purple shade right here, the shimmer purple, called Super Stylin'. 
Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on into doing um, my waterline. I will be using the Clinique Gel Liner. Now that I'm done with that, I will be moving on into mascara and I will be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Now I will be putting a small purple gem in the inner part of my eye and I will just be using this little thing of gems. I'll just be using this lash glue to apply. Now I will be moving on into my eyebrows and I will be using the ColourPop Brow Boss. Now I will be moving on into blush, and for blush, I will be using this Milk Makeup Blush. Now I will be moving on into highlight, and for highlight, I kind of want the highlight to be purple, so I'm going to be going into the Fade Into Hue palette, and I will be using this kind of glitter shade right here called Express. This one right here. Ooh, can you even see it? This one. Now, to finish off this makeup look, I will be moving on into lips, and for lips, I will be using this purple Fenty Beauty lip gloss. So, this is the finished look, and I am very happy with how it turned out. My hair is cute, my makeup's cute, I got on a little outfit, even though I really don't have any plans for today, it does feel super nice to be dressed up and ready, just in case something comes up. Cause you know, I like to look good no matter where I'm going. So, Hey guys, so I am back for the last day of doing my hair and makeup for a week. And I'm gonna keep it simple with the hair, but kind of do something a little different for the makeup. And I actually have plans today. I'm gonna be going to the movies with Ireland and Danelle to go see Space Jam. So the plan for my hair today is to do the little, um, it's like kind of trending now again. But do the little bun with like the little clip thing. And then you have part of your hair kind of coming up here a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And the way that I've seen it done is that you kind of cheat a little bit by putting some of your hair in a ponytail. Like you kind of do like a half up, half down type movement. And then do it. I don't even know how to explain it. But you kind of do like this, right? I'm going to take this section and have it as a ponytail up top here. Kind of make sure everything is the way that it needs to be. Tighten it up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hair with this hair, twist it up like this and kind of like, it's kind of cheating a bit so that it makes it look more full. Then you get your clip hey y'all we had some technical difficulties my phone kept saying i didn't have storage meanwhile i definitely have storage so i i don't know what's wrong with that i think it was just like trying to down like finish put uploading stuff to the iCloud or whatever it was acting stupid right in the middle of me you know doing my makeup so i mean not doing my makeup doing my my thing my video so what i'm doing is i'm recording off of my old phone at the moment and so yeah so this is the hair it's nothing too crazy this is just it so for my makeup today i will be kind of doing a version of a graphic type of liner and it's gonna be a little bit different so I'm going to be starting off with a base of concealer, not under my eyes, but as the base for the graphic liner. So I'm going to just use this angled brush and I'm going to create the shape that I want. I'm just gonna be cleaning up the shape and making it a bit sharper using the Clinique Take Day Off makeup remover and a Q-tip. Now that I am done with that, I'm going to be moving into the Violet Boss I Do Not Care eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be moving into this brown shade right here. And I'm going to use that angled brush again. And I'm going to just pack that on to where the concealer is. Now I will be moving into the Fade Into Hue palette. 
and I am just going to be applying a tad bit of glitter to this upper part right here. I'm just going to kind of just tap it in right on the edge of where the graphic liner ends. I think I'm going to use So Precious and I'm just going to be using my pinky so that I can get it more precise but at the same time get as much glitter on there. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be putting on a gem right at the front using these and I'm going to be using this gold iridescent one. Now I'm going to go back into this palette and kind of use a little bit under my eye just so we can, you know, deepen that part up. Now I will be moving on into inner corner highlight and I'm just going to be using this gold shade right here in the fade into hue palette called Shine Bright. I definitely got carried away and I'm wearing this to go to the movie. Now I'm going to be moving on into mascara and for mascara I will just be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by Real. Now I will be moving on into eyebrows and I will be using the ColourPop Brow Balm. Now I will be moving on into blush and I will be using the Milk Makeup Blush. Now I will be moving into highlight and I'm just going to be using this gold right here. Now I will be finishing off this look by moving on into lips and to start off I will be using this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. I'm also going to be using a tiny bit of this Sephora Lip Crayon and I'm just going to use that to kind of deepen up the top here a little bit. Now I will be using this Tower 28 orange lip gloss. So this is the finished look. I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, I look cute. My outfit is kind of cute too. I've got the jewelry on. That kind of like really brought it together. So yeah, I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. Please feel free to let me know in the comments which look was your favorite from this week. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, it's okay to leave a dislike. If you want to see some more content from me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to be safe and responsible. Bye. Hey, I'm doing an outro. Hey, 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 I'm doing an outro. Hey, hey.